When I was in Chile, I answered one question after the fight. Did you guys know that? I, I was like, oh, okay, was cool. Chile? Oh, you, was that, was that Grasso? Yeah. Oh yeah, they were like, uh. Yeah, they're like, we hate her. I was like, well, I'm Hispanic. <laughs> Breakout performance tonight. Um, what did you think of your tonight? What did you think of tonight? Uh, you know, I was glad I got the win. I was glad I got the TKO. Uh, I wasn't really like that happy about my performance. I thought I was a little off today, but that's okay. I got the job done. Sometimes you're not always gonna have the best day in you know your in your eyes, but um, as long as you get your, the job done, you know. I mean, I did I did what I had to do. Um, you know, I got her out of there. So I'm here to finish people. I want you know I want to. I want to be known to finish people. I don't want to just like take things a distance. You know what I mean. So, uh, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that I got the win. You know, you, you did finish her, right? You mm -hmm. didn't go the distance. You know. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm oh. glad I got the finish. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you say you're not happy with performance, but then they released the statistics, and as far as it landed zero significant strikes, that's and that's a bad performance. Well, yeah, I feel like I should have got her out of there in the first, you know, I felt like my, my transitions were a little bit off today, but, you know, I, I, I got the job done, so that's okay. You know, I, I just have some, some stuff to improve on, but that's always, you know, I mean, if we had a perfect performance in our eyes, always, you know, would we really strive to be better, you know, uh, so this is just going to push me to get better, and, uh, yeah. Were you aware that the judges, one of the judges gave Carter as well as in the first round? Are you serious? Yeah. Is this real? Yeah, it's real. Right. How? The scorecards just got okay. released and well, I'm glad I finished her then, because I could have lost. It's probably a typo. It was, it was the 10 8 for Carla in the first round, but most likely it had to be a mistake. Oh, yeah, so. I was like, oh my god. Okay, well, I don't know how she got it, but. That did happen. But that's bad because, I mean, if that was like a close fight or something, you know, I, I mean, I could have lost. You know? Does that kind of scare you as a fighter when you hear stuff like that? Um, yeah, I mean, but I got her out of there, so I, that's what you should always try to finish people, you know. Um, but I'm glad now, I'm glad I finished her. <laughs> Joe Rogan's been saying, uh, you know, straight after the fight, he was talking about how you might steal in, maybe get the next title shot. Do you mm -hmm. believe that's something that is justified given the performance? Uh, I feel like, I, I mean, it's up to the UFC, but I feel like, yeah, after a performance like that, a former champion. Uh, she beat Rose, you know, in a dominant fashion. I beat her in a dominant fashion. But if, if it doesn't, if that's not what they give me, I'll take whoever whoever loses this fight, right? Because whoever usually wins this fight is probably going to get a title shot. So once, you know, whoever wins that, you know, whoever loses this fight, I'll take them. I'll, I'll go ahead and dominate them, and then I'll get my title shot. He also said you would like to beat Namaga Medal for the strawweight division. Is that something you've kind of been able with before? And you like that kind of uh, association? Oh, yeah. oh, of course I like that association. He's like one of the best, in, you know, he is the best in the world right now. And, uh, you know, uh, I think, you know, he's a beast. So <laughs> to be labeled something like that, you know, it's an honor. They were, sure. also, sorry, they were also mentioning um, Joanna as, as far as your next matchup. Yeah. Is that something you would highly like? Yeah. <laughs> I would like I would like to fight whoever the best of the best. You know I'm here to I'm here to prove I'm the best. So whoever they give me, you know I, I'll I'll take. Do you see anyone in the division being able to stop your grappling? Uh, I don't see anybody stopping my grappling. Uh, and uh, as you saw, like before, I usually get you know submissions and stuff like that. But I'm improving my ground and pound's getting better. Uh, so now they have to worry about not only my ground and pound, but they have to worry about my submissions as well. So now I'm going to be even more feared on the ground. Weird question. What is your actual height? Really? I'm five five. Really five five. I'm not that tall. I just look really really tall because I have weird, like broad shoulders. So like a lot of people are like, oh my god, she's a giant, yeah. but I'm only five five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a big weight cut for you? I mean, out of out of normal. No. Just no. Actually, I stay around one thirty. Uh, I came in this week at one twenty seven. So that's not really that big of a cut, you know. Um, yeah. If I was to go up to 125, I'd only have to cut, what, a pound, you know? So that's not, I'm not, like, that big. But people think I'm big because I have broad shoulders. Do you give credit to Carla because, obviously, she survived a pretty tenacious beating? 
You know what? Uh, I knew she was going to be that tough. I, I knew she was going to be that tough. I had a feeling that you know she she's ha she's very very experienced. That's what she had on me. She had experience. That's that's all she had is being in the octagon more times than than I've been in the octagon. But I've been on the mat ten times more than she's ever been on the mat. So uh, you know, uh, she said that she had experience on me, but she only had experience in the octagon more than me. She's never had more combative experience than me. No one, no one has. Beating the Florida ch former champ, is this the biggest win of your career? Uh, yeah, you know, I feel like I dominated her uh, and uh, she was a former champ, so yeah, I definitely think she's my toughest opponent yet. And everybody said, oh, uh, Carla's gonna give uh, Tatiana a run for her money. And I just looked at those messages and I saw those things and I said, yeah, okay, sure, okay, sure. Because I, I knew I was gonna dominate her, you know. But, you know, I just had to put it into fruition. You know, you think it in your head, but, you know, you need to you need to actually do it. So, you know, I proved it tonight, and, um, you know, now everybody knows. <laughs> do you see yourself ever going up to 125 at some point in your career? Yeah, when I win the belt, uh, I'll go up to 125 because, you know, I want to be I want to be just like all the all the other goats out there. You know, I want to I want to be a two time. I want to be a champ champ. So <laughs> How do you think your game translates to you know, some of the other names that are fighting at 125 right now? Um, I think, you know, I, I'm going to have to pack on some muscle like because, like I said, um, I would only be, you know, 127, so I'd have to pack on a little muscle and, you know, gain a little weight and um, and then go up from there, you know, um, and then fight, you know, these, these bigger girls. But I'm, sh I'm strong and, uh, you know, I go against guys uh, that are twice as big in as me and I take them down. So don't, t okay, I'm going to say this right now. He's going to get mad at me, but I took down Lorenz Larkin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's gonna be pissed, but hey, I probably won him some money today, so that's okay. <laughs> How many times have you taken him down? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but one time it was pretty bad because he like flew over me. Because he like charged, and I was like, whoo! And then he went, whoo! And he flew right over me. I was like, what? Boom! Like, it was pretty awesome. But <laughs> <laughs> um, this is purely hypothetical, but yesterday during the weigh-ins, if they would have came up to you and said, "Hey, you want to fly? Do you want to fight for the flyweight belt on Saturday?" Yeah. Is that something you would been interested in? Uh, yeah, everybody said like asked me about that, but I'm like really, really focused on you know getting this strawweight title. So I felt like the only way I would have taken that fight is if they would have said, "If you fight her, you know, then we will give you a title shot." I would have taken that fight. Because, you know, I, I'm working so hard for this strawweight. I didn't want to kind of take any steps back, especially in that strawweight division. So, yeah, uh, I would have taken that fight if they had promised me a, a strawweight title as well. So you're going for champ champ immediately? Champ champ. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be DC and, you know, the Conor McGregor. <laughs> um, have you, do you know DC? Have you talked to him? Like, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because he was... Uh, Go home, watch the commentary. He was basically doing backflips about your wrestling. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honored. You know, because I mean, he's a you know Olympic, you know uh, um, Olympian, and uh, you know I grew up watching him, and you know, um, you know, and I, I've I've seen his his MMA career take off, and I'm just like really really proud of that man, because not only is he uh, done so great in the sport, but he's remained you know uh, a great role model as well. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you. Awesome, guys. Thank you. I got to answer yeah. one more. Yeah, one more question. Question. Yeah. <laughs>